There's no place to escape to. This is the last stray. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. What was that? In every sense of the word. What's up, everybody? What's Welcome to the last on? stream on the left. Uh, I'm Ben. Marcus Henry. I don't usually introduce people on this show because no. there's na- there's there's third. What do you call that? The third the thing the third thing on the bottom. It's out there. It's not, it doesn't know. say it doesn't have our name. There is doesn't have our names. No, no, no. It's no. actually good that you introduce us, to be completely yeah. honest. Oh, okay. That's great. We were just on Side Stories. Henry and I were talking about this woman who had sex with three dogs on camera because she's a star, 65 she's like, years that's old. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a real good boy. And this was in the UK, Marcus. And huh. guess how much jail time they gave her? Month, month and a half. They gave her zero jail time. Zero. And because, do you want to know why? Because, uh, because she was, she's 65. No, because she was made fun of enough by people in public. They said in the UK, <laughs> apparently in the UK, judges, when they sentence you, take yeah. the, the public reaction to your crimes yep. in, like, as a part of the whole package. So like, we feel that she's been embarrassed enough. And it's like, yeah, she she's had that, fucker. you know, if she sucked a bunch of dogs' fucking dicks. Yep, you get made fun of. Is that what she was doing? Was she sucking the dog? Oh fix, my god! It was the whole. It was the whole thing. thing. No, yeah. no, no peanut butter was wasted. No, no okay. food abuse. Just animal abuse. Oh, and uh, that was really good. But I mean, can you imagine if we did that here? If judges took into account you getting doxxed on social media when you've done something super stupid into your sentence, no one would ever go to jail. <laughs> I, you know, it's but the, the opposite. I feel like in America we, we we're like, yeah, fucking go get them. That should be a part. Oh, with the sentence. I think it should be built in. I believe that we should have the stocks. I feel like there's a gut for That's me. That's just because you can stand full. You can stand upright in the stocks. Yeah, just me. Just you doing just on doing, it. Yeah. For me, it's it's absolutely horrible. Next thing you know, some big old man who loves a long, fat man's a rump pulls down my pants and starts going crazy, cleaning out everything that's damaged down there. No, there's Shouldn't. a stocks guard. There has to be a stocks guard to make sure that the humiliation doesn't become criminal. Because if it's criminal on top of criminal, then we got a problem. We got a problem. I've been no watching. one's getting punished properly. But then every once in a while, if you slip the guy a couple of bucks, you can get in a fucking one of the guys on the set. <laughs> Absolutely you can. I've been watching a lot of prison documentaries on YouTube. There's this one guy. He should just be on my main page. Yeah, his name is... Uh, his name is Larry Lawton. You guys know Larry Lawton? No. Jewel thief. He's got a whole YouTube series. He's in there for like 20 years. At one point, Marcus, you know what they did to him? They, they put him like this. And he, so he was like a, like a horrible starfish that was very uh, available for, for horrible penetration. And a guard peed on his face. That's what happens, uh-uh. man. It's hard That's out there. That's what happens. So you imagine what they're going to do in the stocks when you, you, you don't have that much power. My God, my my belief is that it's like everybody that was bailed out in 2008 that fucking destroyed this country uh, should have been. That's one level. Then mm-hmm. every police officer has done every fucking piece of shit thing that they've done last six months. Just just the last six months. They should. I think it's a good way to really publicly embarrass people as you fucking elephant walk them out. You get all of these fucking congressmen, all these fucking cops, you put them in a big long line, put them in the fucking dunce caps with the big striped suits on. I think that's just chain, the KKK foot by foot by foot. I'm just saying, <laughs> you put them up in the fucking stocks and barrels, and then you cover them with honey and you fucking unleash a bunch of bees. Oh my hmm. God. It's a Damn. big night out. All right, let's play this video. It's about masturbation. Now, do you remember <laughs> it's still controversial in some places to masturbate? And by the way, Ben, it's, it's your mandate. I know it's my mandate. Week. That's why, yes, I know yeah. it's my mandate. Yeah, yeah, Puffin yeah. and I chose the videos <laughs> last night and this morning. Um, this video is about masturbation because Puffin's getting to a certain age now. It's about 10 years old. And these, uh, you know, it's starting to get a little frisky. So I need to have to talk with him, and I need to learn how to do it. Um, I'm trying to find a segue to this video, okay? Can I just have a break? I'm there. Um, Let's show this video. It felt good, didn't it, Ricky? (laughs) This is how every boy masturbates. Staring at the ceiling. Dead eyes. I know this feeling. Make love, not war, see? That's what he's masturbating to, liberalism. Mommy, oh, I've seen this oh. before. Excuse me, Ricky. Ricky, I did see what you were doing. Uh-oh. It felt good, is... didn't it? 
Yes, it's it did. All right. We all have feelings like this sometimes. I'm just glad you're doing this in the privacy of your own room. Get out of here! What the hell is going to be? We'll have to talk more about these feelings and what causes them and how we can control these feelings. I'm sorry I intruded it's about on to your come privacy. His mom. I'll be sure Ugh. to knock next time, okay? Now you and now the coming fantas- in here like your father. Now he's just staring at the door, hoping his mother comes back in. Guys, he's not Kissel, near Jamie Poole. He's not showing boy how how boys masturbate. He's just showing them. I don't know. That is <laughs> going to scar. This is the thing when it comes to the ladies out there. When you're the mom, um, puberty is alone time. That's when they. That's when people need special space. There's a Tide commercial that says that. That's on TV right now. Which is like, you know what you're alluding to, Tide. You're cleaning out a bunch of cum stains with your Tide pods. It really is on national television. Um, but that boy is now the reason that the Pornhub, uh, um, the, the, um, the, what do you call it? Not an allegory. The al- algorithm. That's why it's all moms having sex with their sons. Because moms do, walking in when their kids are jerking it, talking to them all weird and soft. And then just leaving as the boy now wishes his mother would re-enter and he ejaculates in his own bed. I found out where that video is from. I did a little bit where that clip is from. I did a little bit of a Google in here and found out that it is just a small part of a 20 minute PSA called the ABC of sex education for trainables. Uh, (laughs) It is for, it is how to sexually educate the mentally disabled. Oh, well, (laughs) well, that explains why I had to watch it growing up. That boy, (laughs) That boy was not mentally disabled. That, At least what, she didn't what are you talking go about? finish him off. <laughs> that is, but also, Let me that's show not, you how. What I don't understand. Why do they call him trainables? I, I am so, I am so viscerally disgusted. <laughs> I'm upset. I'm fed up. I am. I'm You're all fed up. I'm fed up. I you saw a man I've vaping his own cum last week. No, it's true. No, I, I honestly think, Maybe I think that, it's really the nice. man who vaped his I, own cum needed a mother to explain sex and how uh, it works. Man. I also want to start like using trainable. the term trainable. Um, I think that actually is very good. Um, but you show this to a mentally handicapped person to teach them how to masturbate. The way I was taught to masturbate was just my hands just found it. Okay. Right. This is my hands found it. I remember sticking it up in and out of a water. I was in the bath and I would make it. It would get big and then I go <laughs> and stick it like out. And that was Freddy Krueger about to kill Nancy with yes. his claw, but instead of the claw coming through the bath water, it's just yep. your weird little Polish penis. The thing is, I know a lot of special needs people. Um, the one I thing- have special needs. We all we all have special needs. We all have special needs. I, have, I mean, one every day thing. I have so many needs. I have so many needs that are so specific. You have any idea how many how would it, how hard it is for me to to fucking up my t-shirt game? At the this one point, thing, that's a special need. You <laughs> don't need to train special needs people to do is masturbate. That well, is that's... the thing that they will take to that. They you need to, take, you need to teach them how to get a job and like shoes and like all those other things. But when it comes to trainables, it's the last thing they need to know. Well, uh, what it, I found the Wikipedia page, uh, what it is actually training them to do is to not masturbate in public. Oh, that's what. <laughs> is, oh, that was, but I just, the mom, was the, but the mom that's why she was congratulating him. That's the why mom, she was congratulating so, him for doing it inside. In his room, but, yes. But uh, then the mom made it in public because she refused to leave. <laughs> it's like now I'm doing it in public again. Well, it's like she, if it's not, it's not your fault if the public comes to you. You know what? I agree with you on that one. She if I'm on a bus a and I'm alone, she made it a, a show. If I'm on the bus and I'm alone, mm-hmm. it's just me and the driver. That the driver is not a person. It, that's a driver. And all of a sudden, people start coming on this bus, and I happen to be masturbating. You came onto my bus, mm. and yes, I am masturbating. But you didn't have to be here. You can also go. If I'm, you I'm gonna say this again, save this for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I would say if you bought the bus, then yeah, yeah. If it's, it's your bus, if it's, it's your, your bus. bus, but if it is a public bus, I don't know if you have legal standing. My well, other question is: is that when it, can you even say that it's like your domicile, right? If you put a bed in there and you got some kind of toilet, and if there's some way to cook food. At some point, the bus becomes your home. 
And if yes. someone comes into that bus while you're masturbating, then that technically you have a right to shoot them in the fucking head. That's what they say about <laughs> prison, too. If you're in prison and you don't clean up your shaving bits or you leave pee on the sink, anything like you, you'll get your ass kicked. You'll get shanked. You deserve it. I believe so, too. And they also trainables are. I mean, honestly, they they take masturbating to another spot like they take it to another place but i will say i've never really seen a trainable out publicly masturbating that I often have enough. i have i have well you yeah. have because of the circles you're running well <laughs> i'm they, talking they about do it but the thing is you just gotta you just gotta keep on going you gotta keep on walking all right let's take a look at this video let's do this boomer attempts to you're also it. getting called driverist Kissel by saying that the driver is out of prison. No, my Gobble dad was a though. truck driver. Said, yeah, exactly. Driverist. That's what happened. What are you talking about? Those are the same people who dissed all over Adam Driver for having his role in Star Wars after he was in the show Girl eat, Girls eating Lena Dunham's butt. That's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Didn't he eat Lena Dunham's butt? <laughs> no, yeah. he no he didn't. There another person ate the other skinny girl, the the other one's butt, the one that's Can Brian Williams' daughter. Can you file for grievances with the union if you had to kiss Lena Dunham in girls? I do, I'm, it was a big opportunity at the time to kiss Lena Dunham in girls, and I bet you her mouth is fine. Yeah, why not? All right, let's watch this video. Now, I actually am pro-boomer in this case just because of the aggression that he shows to this Zoomer, which is a term that I had not heard before. But yeah. we can see this video. No one dies. Okay. Nobody uh, dies. Nobody dies. But You uh, promise. We'll find he out. Could have. So we got a skateboarder going down. This guy is super pissed off. He's like, what the fuck? And then he just starts throwing all of his potted plants at him, right? Yeah. This guy's like, all right, cool. It's all good. Don't don't worry about it. I'm still this, is, this looks very European. This looks yes, European. it is very European. But this guy's getting ready for it. This is not a good. This is not fucking home alone. Boom! He nails him. But the thing is, this kid, you would think, oh, my God, that kid's going to be dead. But he just goes back. And he does it, and he pulls off the trick. Well, not, oh, he's not fine. Yet. You know what? I respect the kid more. Wow! I, I thought this like that would make him no, fucking. He... I thought that would make him trainable. I swear to God, he pulls this trick off at some point. So he jumps over that. There we go. Hey. Whoa! He threw a full potted plant onto the guy's head, and he still continued to skate. Everyone's just laughing. Hey, Amen. That was two fucking... stories up. That's Thrasher life, dude. That's hey, insane. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hang 10, man. Thrash life. You wouldn't even understand. Take a look at these skater socks. <laughs> All right. I almost, can we go watch that video one more time? I want to see because you got to watch it in slow motion. He's acting like a fucking Kevin McAllister. Kevin McAllister would have fucking crippled those two burglars if they went in there. Well, well he wasn't. There weren't, there weren't burglars, Henry. There were skateboarders. These yeah. are, uh, but they I are technically the burgling their public space. Yeah, burgling peace no, and you're quiet. Not, you, burgling you can't peace bur and quiet. You can't burgle public space. That's the whole point. It's free. It's public Ask space. Ask a trainable. Ask a trainable who's outside jerking off in front of a fucking Seven Eleven if there's such a thing as not being able to burgle public space. <laughs> that's not, that's still not burgling. That's I mean maybe you're robbing someone of their innocence of their childhood. But then again, if you're 11 years old, you want to tell a story on the street corner. You just saw a trainable jerking off at the Seven Eleven. You are cool for in, until at least lunch. You got the story. You got the hot scoop for the day. I You're love the news. You're fucking, the reporter. I'm, I am desperate for bits. All right, this is quarantine. Yeah. It's incredibly boring. Yeah, the Absolutely. last exciting thing I saw was when the couple got into a fight while they were walking their dog, and a woman broke up with a man by quietly telling him, "I don't want to be with you anymore." Yeah. Dude, and okay, then no he what? had to, and then he just kept following her, and uh, they're presumably still together. I saw a very similar thing. Two bikers. Uh, the girl finally caught up to him. She was very mad at this guy, and he was just a little hipster, a little wimp. She could have knocked his ass out. She would have gone straight up. Um, whatever. What's Ali's daughter's name? I forget. Um, but she would have knocked his ass out. And she screamed at him in public when I was getting a slice of pizza. And then he was such a little limp bitch afterwards. We laughed and laughed and laughed and publicly mocked him. And then he saw us making fun of him. But that was great. Anyway, um, all right. So that's that story. Uh, all right, but did he do? Did he do anything? Or yeah, he drew, he biked away like a little bitch because uh, we uh, made fun of him. Yeah, it's, we were it's like, good. No, yeah, I mean, did he do anything to get the public humiliation in the first place? Yeah, because he biked in front of her and didn't wait for her, Marcus. Uh, oh, I didn't okay. tell you what she said. Yeah, yeah he biked, <laughs> biked in front of her, yeah. and then she said, 
no one treats me this way. No one ever has treated me this way. And then so she was super mad at him because they were at the protest, and then they were biking because it was a bike protest. And then he biked it in front of her, and you just got to wait. Now, a part of me is also like, you got to keep up. But I'm not involved in this fight. That's no, not, absolutely not. And I'm never not. inject yourself. You have no, no reason to get in the middle of it. I'm getting my slice of pie from not my favorite place here in New York. I'm not going to give its name. The best place is Carmine's. This, this place they got the pizza from, not enough sauce. Mm, is that yeah. the one that's on down the street from Carmine's? No, it's the one that they they uh, they do the, the pizza. One on, the one no, from... they do they do the pizza in the box of pizza because it's a gimmick thing. I just uh, I don't nah, trust fuck those that sh- fucking shit. It's gimmick. Yeah. It's a gimmick pie. Um, all right. Well, let's show this video of this dead toddler, um, that wakes up at a funeral. So this oh. is very interesting. <laughs> now this is um, <laughs> this is, this is fascinating. Fascinating. This is interesting. This is great. Okay. So what is funny about this is. This is like on the local news. So the local news is treating this like it's a story of like a bunch of kids went to the carnival and they want a free stuffed unicorn. The way that they approach this story is to me what makes it humorous. So let's just roll it. Welcome back. Oh, this story really shakes you up. So if you're a parent, burying a child is your absolute worst nightmare. Yeah. But over the it's your worst days, nightmare. a true miracle happened to a toddler and her family. Oh. Local 15 web content specialist Taryn oh. Reed is standing by this morning. Look at and Taryn, there's actually the video of this. Yes, there is, Pat. The three-year-old girl was being prepared for burial when she began to move <laughs> inside her coffin. Gee, what are we fucking talking <laughs> about here? <laughs> Why are they the acting like this is a story about a funny squirrel that can ride a bicycle? Body, he noticed a slight <laughs> movement of her head. The girl was apparently pronounced dead two days earlier. Video Jesus footage posted Christ. online shows the ceremony <laughs> erupting in chaos as a man and woman, identified by the Philippine star as the girl's parents, pick her up out of the casket and wrap her in blankets. The police inspector told the paper he was not the proper authority to pronounce on a medical case, but did confirm the parents said the girl had, quote, severe fever for days, so they took her to a medical clinic on Friday, where she was pronounced dead early the next morning. After the funeral incident, the little girl was doing well enough to go home after some tests were done. Funeral incident. Medical personnel will check the funeral on her incident. She fucking put her in a coffin. She's sure never she going to be the same ever again. You can Did see they this buy video the coffin at the hospital? No, but now they plug their website. <laughs> Can't even wrap your head around that for that to happen. To go from uh, sad tears to mm-hmm. happy tears, knowing that ba- thankfully she's. she's this isn't a fucking parade. Your coverage. This is a fucking toddler in a fucking casket. Yep. Okay. Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> local news. The one thing about local news training. Speaking of trainers, trainees, whatever, they have to. Sh- they have to be. Not everything is a smile. Affable. Not everything. And yeah, everything. Story, but they they're affable at every turn. But that story, <laughs> that's amazing. I bet you she's not going to be able to read. <laughs> now, now, <laughs> now, Susan, let's go to the weather. How many black people were murdered today? <laughs> the weather's cold Tom it's cold <laughs> um, literally that's John Krasinski that's what John that's 20 million dollars worth of content right there there was a baby found it was in a coffin for two days two and they fucking... tried to make it a sweet story how I wanted that baby gone they wanted that baby dead also, just, did... yeah I just don't really understand I would, honestly take it back try to re-explain that story to me so the baby had a fever fever Went to the doctor in the Philippines. The Philippines doctor was like, she's dead. Now, I guess they don't do embalming or anything like that. Pop her in a casket for two days. She's probably thirsty and stuff like that. How is she fucking dead? But they took her to the... She was How just about to be buried her alive. They took her pulse. They didn't do anything. That, that, no, because the sheriff said that he wasn't able to... He can't. He's not a medical professional, so he can't tell if she's dead or alive. Yeah, but I fucking, just... There's many ways to tell if somebody's fucking dead or alive. You put a fucking mirror on her nose. You, you can do anything. You know, like, we talked about it. We talked about it on, on our Buried Alive. Uh, Nat you know, knows segment. the way to, if Natalie thinks that I might be dead, one thing that she does is she sticks one whole section of finger up my butthole to see if I react. Absolutely. And as soon as you get hard, she'll know that you're dead. Um, okay. Because you can get hard when you're dead. Angel lust. Absolutely. Um, all right. Well, let's talk about martial arts. And, you know, you know, Marcus, there's a lot of scammers out there in the martial arts. I bet there are, Ben. And my favorite scammers. <laughs> <laughs> cold. It's cold outside. <laughs> my favorite scammer is the person who does, like, the chi, where he's like, you cannot hit me. 
and then he has all of his students oh, like no, yes. flying all by him. I am. I have gotten. I've. I have dipped my toe into the world of fake martial arts fucking gurus. They're very so, very funny. So let's show this video. I have two of them. Whichever one you want to show first is fine with me. Um, let's see if Chi can really stop a physical punch from hitting you. I have a feeling it can't, but these people definitely believe that it can. Maybe, uh, yeah. Foolishness. 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 Okay, so this is the guy. Now, these are his students. So he believes that he has some kind of, like, special power. And all of his students, because they probably pay him a lot of money to believe in this bullshit. You got to. It's like, uh, yeah, it's yeah. like going to school at UCB. You got to pretend all these fucking assholes with glasses are funny. Yeah, you have to pretend like this is how you do martial arts. So he's flipping like he's a pro wrestler. That guy didn't I can do, do that. that. I can do that fucking a second. Oh, he's I down. I can do that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's now it is incredible killer, theater. Whoa. whoa. Whoa, no can do. Whoa. No. He can defeat anyone, and honestly, if this was real, I would be, I would believe this man, I would love this man. But the thing is, a real karate instructor was like, let's do this, let's fight. And then, Yeah, man, fucking you know. rock his ass, please. <laughs> but please if it works, because we're not, in, we're not in the Matrix, full contact sparring, got a lot of people around, including his own students, which I really love. Now, he's just like being a D-bag. Like no one's ever hit me before. I've never been hit. I'm not able to be hit. So he's going wow. with the swipe. Now this is, but I do like this. None of I... these are attacks. Oh yeah, fucking knock his ass <laughs> oh. out. Yeah, fucking. I want him to be in a coma. Uh, so it wasn't good. And then, but that's just the first one. I love the fat ref. He looks like he just. He looks like Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who is this guy with the cargo shorts? He's this just fucking up, man. Okay, uh -oh. our key might Let's be strong. Let's see how his key's doing. Oh, he's like a jet off. Oh, he jet keeps off. going for the neck. But he won't even, he's not even full time hit. No. Wow, oh, he's crying like a fucking oh. <laughs> And he's just like getting the whole bunch. Oh, anyway, no. so he won. I guess it was two out of three. Man, uh, I, just, I anyway. just wanted to hear that guy said the noise he made when he got punched in the neck. Just like, <laughs> That's, I didn't know that was legal. Um, and then we have one more it. video like that, but with two people who aren't uh, much as experts as that man. So that guy is kind of fun to see him get his ass well, kicked. But this it's one just is something crazy. about having right. a bunch of people all worship you, right? Where they right. all think that you can flip them and stuff. And they're all like, Master Key, he is the strongest of all the senseis. And then I go to a guy who's just like, yeah, I punch people at a bar on Fridays. And they're like, oh, Master Key, show him, show him the ways of your secrets. And him just fucking, just like fucking wailing on his nuts. <laughs> See, that's fun. Sometimes people need to get beat up. That was in a constructed way. Yeah. It's constructive. Yes. Um, all right. Let's take a look at some more martial arts well, footage. Well, you only sent one martial arts. Oh, I only sent yeah. the one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, ah, there's another one I where two people beat them. each other up. How do you I'll think that guy it. explained away getting his ass beat to his students? He just charged him more money to figure out why he did that on purpose. It was another lesson. <laughs> they just another teach different lessons. Lessons <laughs> buried inside of lessons. Yeah. Yes. And exactly. Enigma's like kids to see. Enigma's had... wrapped in riddles, cloaked in mystery. Yes, absolutely. All right, I'm going to send this to you. Can I, if I send it to you now, does it work? Sure. All right. <laughs> Here it goes. Here it goes. Another, he, uh, by the way, Ben, sent, it ben sent all of his videos in a text message. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Well, yeah, so how do you send them? Ben, ben doesn't send an email. So how do you send your? What are you talking? Well, I'm I send an email and I describe the videos and I put it in order. Oh, Henry, that is that's BS. You don't even know the videos that, that you have on your own when it's your mandate. I mean, a lot of times I do, I do forget. I have a running YouTube playlist that has everything uh, in order, and I just, you know, he just knows to take from those. I tell him, play 51 to 72, you know, and yeah, so ben, on ben and so forth. Ben just sends me a – I get, like, 14 text messages at 3 in the morning. Cool. You know what? <laughs> hey, titties, there's a lot of people out there that would be dying to get – a series <laughs> of cryptic texts from yep. Kissel at all times with all of his thoughts. 
It's very fun. But it's like a, it, it'll be like a link. Well, I didn't know this like, was the roast of Ben be Kissel. It'll be like a, a link to a Pornhub video, and then he'll put, it's not porn, right under <laughs> Well, that is true, because that's a professional, it's not porn. It was like that Peter Gaynor one that I watched the other day. Anyway, all right. Well, we can go on to a different video, and we'll go back. Uh, Henry, you mentioned that you have a close family member who just got back from the dentist, and we know that dentists have funny jokes. So oh, let's the show. People do say that. You know what? Actually, uh, I saw I saw one in an email the other day. To I've, I've got a I forget who said it. If it's you, please tell me. Tell me a fun dad joke. Uh, hey man, ha ah, man, I just flew into I just flew in from Chernobyl, and man, are my arms legs? <laughs> it's cold outside. <laughs> uh, that is very good, actually. I I do like that one. That is quite funny. It's pretty um, good. That, that, I don't think the dad is going to get the kids back. But <laughs> that doesn't but, want the fucking kids back. How lucky is a father that just lost his whole family? Because number one, cool ass stories to tell to all the guys. You, when you once you're fucking you're sitting at that fucking Cabo Wabo, you've been yeah. playing nothing but fucking Eagles all night on the mm. juke. Fucking, I don't who gives think... a shit about that family, man. No, they don't talk about the kids. They start crying when they start talking about the kids. You talk about anything other than the kids. Yeah. yeah. The nearest Cabo Wabo Cantina to me right now is in Las Vegas, Nevada. Too far away. That's close to me, man. Dude, I want to get go. out there. Is it honestly, open? dude? There's that's... a Cabo Wabo Cantina in Hollywood. Uh, Sammy Hagar has become like Guy Fieri. I think Guy Fieri is almost kind of passing towards. He is becoming. I still will not grant him the Italian. That's what he calls himself. So I won't grant him the Italian. But Sammy Hagar, I think, might have the number one sought after life I've ever seen. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to go Buffett. I'm going Jimmy Buffett on that because Jimmy Buffett, I mean, they have very similar lives, but Jimmy Buffett doesn't have to deal with the fanfare. Jimmy can just kind of be, I mean, you know who Jimmy Buffett is, but he's not Sammy Hagar. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if, he, if Sammy Hagar is as recognizable as you think he is. Yeah, he is. Yeah. To me. Oh, my God. If you saw Sam, of course, we're middle-aged white men. Of course. I mean, he doesn't want to be recognized. We're not middle-aged yet. You don't know when we're gonna die. I'm uh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna live. I'm gonna live. Your I feel like being a... Jimmy Buffett is a lot of work. I think it might be a lot of work. I think it's a lot of work. I feel like he's always on tour. Sammy man, Sammy Hagar goes to a Cabo every once in a while and goes, Wow! He man, this place is wonderful. And then wow. he goes oh, Well no then... well Sammy Hagar and the circle have been on tour for the last two years. Sammy mm -hmm. Hagar is seventy one years fun. It's Sam and fucking they are out there all the time playing all your favorite covers, all you fucking what all the kids love. Little Richard, um, mm. he plays a lot of um, Johnny Mathis. He has a lot That's of different Johnny Mathis. A lot some, of covers, yeah. Maybe some Prine, some Bill Prine. Um, did you get the video? All right, so let's watch this other little kung fu video. I mean, it's not that good, but well, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> now we're gonna watch that some point <laughs> i didn't know you shouldn't text the videos it says text do receive video. We gotta go to a different video now we have to go to a different video let's go to this I dentist extract, joke. i have to cut it out of a text message he's got to cut it out of a text message apparently Slap whoever it sent it to internet. him texted it to him <laughs> um let's do this teeth let's do this teeth joke i think this is kind of funny it's a little blue i'm dr donald gossett i'm an oral oh. and maxillofacial surgeon i have training in dentistry and specialty training in maxillofacial facial surgery. Today we're going to speak it. about some fairly general aspects of general dentistry and possibly uh, specialized dentistry and hopefully be able to educate you a little better on some of those topics. Cool. Uh, today we're going to talk about a dentist joke and one of the most classic dentist jokes that I know is the one where my patient sits in the chair as I'm getting ready to take their tooth out. They grab a rather sensitive part of my anatomy and look up at me and say, now, doctor, we're not going to hurt each other, correct? <laughs> well, that's about all I know about dentist jokes. Unfortunately, uh, most people that come in to have treatment by me don't find it. I take funny that fucking ordinary. mask off. That is literally <laughs> the cover of Dr. Jokes. Giggles. <laughs> so this is uh, Dr. Donald Gossett. I hope you enjoyed uh, the information to the point to where um, you may pursue dentistry or you may pursue uh, the benefits of some of the treatment alternatives. All right, there it is. They grab his cack, and they say, we're not going to hurt each other, are we? 
You get and it? Then, uh, and then what's absolutely fascinating is that um, I say uh, there's only one way you can hurt me is if you don't empty my fucking balls right now, my sweet young creation. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, next thing you know, that taut young man, he gets down on his knees and he's giving the dentist a service, even though he came here for a service himself. Oh, my God, a cock canal. That is no kind of dental surgery. I don't like that dentist. I mean, honestly, he's a great dentist. He set up the joke perfectly. He let you know it was going to be a joke. I uh-huh. do the appreciate a warning. Kind of blue. I love being told up top that a joke is coming soon. Yeah. Uh-huh. And Marcus, then you ever launching in. Just go for Just grab just a nice... Grab the guy, like, just and grabbed any man's just like grabbed grab, a man's no, if, junk in aggression. It, it, no, it's, if it's a dentist, I think that that's appropriate. If you go in for a physical, they touch your bits. You should be able to touch theirs, just so they know that how sensitive you are to them, they better be to you. I don't want to touch my doctor's dick and balls. I don't really. Dentist. I'm not thinking about it. Yeah, I don't like to necessarily touch. Like I have a female dentist, and I don't really want to honk or I don't want to do an Al Franken. <laughs> You know what I mean? Necessarily, I want to. You'd have to be wearing a flat jacket. I know. It's a shame what happened to Al Franken, technically. But I want to get in there. I want to. I don't want to do this. I don't necessarily want to. No, because that would work. Honestly, this only works on males because, you know, we got the we got the sensitive bits. Um, Yeah, females, they just, you know, it's hard enough. It's hard enough being a female. So they're living they're living a horror story. So I think a woman is just as sensitive about her breasts being touched by a patient as a man. No, testicles are some of the most sensitive things on earth. Testicles are very sensitive. I feel like this is like one of those like gender conversations that's going to end up like no. destroying everything that we know and we love. Testicles we are, to say, no, it, no, this is not a gender conversation. Testicles I don't know. are the most sensitive thing on, the, on any body. I'm going to ask the chat. Are testicles oh my God. more? And this is true. Honestly, I want to know because, yeah, I like sometimes I think some breasts are numb. Like my breasts are a sensation, but I don't really get like. Yeah, if you have like. A, like a, after I do this, my nipples are getting hard now. Right, but it's mostly just kind of a – it's like a rooting reflex. Do it mm-hmm. to your balls now, and then you'll see that you have pain. It'll go up to your stomach. The whole thing will be very painful. Yeah, I sat on my balls this afternoon. It was awful. I just I sat have... on my balls before the show. I have no breasts in any way whatsoever. Just, but I don't feel it. I, breasts. I, I just don't feel – like, I don't get pleasure. I have a uh, I have a third nipple underneath my left one here that's been uh, getting a little – painful but that's really I think that's uh i think i think that should be a, a doctor thing yeah you need to look at it seriously if you do have a painful third dip, you should talk to a doctor <laughs> if yep. it's grown if it's grown from yeah i think that's a a medical issue oh yeah it's grown all right that's so... not good that's not a bragging thing it's like a lump it's like finding a lump on your breast you know no, men can get breast under... cancer i don't have breast cancer Good All right, someone saying your did, balls are numbered. I would never tell you guys. Person, I would be uncomfortable, but not in pain. Testicles are more sensitive. You can kick my tits, and it doesn't even hurt. I actually, yeah, would, can... I don't want to kick your tits. No, no <laughs> one wants to do any of this stuff. We're not. <laughs> I mad Kiki six six six. She has mad sensitive nipples. Um, wiser middle clit pain. Ooh, clit pain. No one ever even mm. talk about that. But yeah, the guy you're not. <laughs> All right. Well, let's show this video of these. I'm just fostering co- conversation. No, I think I'm just great. building a bridge from us or our audience. You know no, I, mean? I love that, and I love our audience, and I. But I just feel like the testicle, it's just a very sensitive part of the body. That's all I'm saying. Hmm. Cold outside. All right, here. Let's show this karate video. <laughs> so this guy wants to do the chi thing too. The white, the white blonde dude. This is fun. Okay, so, so yeah. white blonde dude is the chi map. <laughs> oh, but the new, so he got him. He got him. Now this dude. <laughs> oh and then God. watch this. Boom! Oh, hurt. Oh, that hurt. Looks like a, looks like He's a couple of like, great. Looks like what? a couple of greyhounds fight with each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, the blonde dude. The blonde dude is trying so hard not to, to pretend he didn't just get rocked because that dude stood up and uppercutted him. Yeah, I like how we act like it didn't hurt. Yeah, you have to. Oh, oh, that hurt. That hurt. <laughs> that, he's just, that hurt. So sorry. That slowed oh, him down. That slowed him down. You, you can stop now, dude. I would be crying at this point. Oh, like, my I, God. I would, we I would be a long crying. time for that video. <laughs> I would be crying uh, and trying really hard to make it look like I'm not crying. When's yeah, the last you time you got, karate. when's the last time you got full-on punched in the face? Oh, oh, my gosh. Six years ago, seven years ago, I got into a fight at Second Chance. 
Remember, I remember you got your nose broken. The guy fucking headbutted you in the face. Yeah, guy, really? guy sucker punched me with a headbutt in the face at uh, on my birthday at Second Chance Saloon over on Graham Avenue. No kidding. I don't remember mm -hmm. that. Yeah, that was it. Because Second Chance used to be you could drink for free on your birthday. Mm -hmm. That's right. Which was what a absolutely terrible Disaster. idea that was. <laughs> Disaster. <laughs> Second was Chance. Disaster. It it was a good bar, two dollar beers. I remember that. You could still smoke in there at the time. They used to I, sell the what was the was it Riebenbach? Oh, I don't remember. The awful I drank, beer. I, I always drank uh, High Life there. Yeah, I'm not a High Life guy though. It gives me a yeah. crushing hangover. Never liked it. Don't know why. I'll drink yeah. it all day if I have to. If I fucking yeah. have to, I will. I got I got punched. Maybe it was. 12 years ago when I was in my business casual because I was working at Madison, uh, Madison Square Garden doing uh, data entry. A guy oh tripped God. over me on the subway platform, little guy, and he just came up like uh, like he was Mike Tyson from Mike Tyson's Punch-Out or little whatever his name is, little Bobby, whatever the name of that character is. And he just socked me super hard, and then I almost started crying, but I did not. And then people, I had to take the whole subway ride, and everyone knew I was victimized, and he was much smaller than me, and I was in my business casual, which I mentioned a few times on the subway. It's really sad because when you're in the pathetic. business, because nothing is like being beaten with khakis on. Yeah. No. It was just this little Mexican dude who just, just let me have it, and he tripped over my foot. And, and you know, but I just, what are you going to do? Time... I, was so, I was so stunned. What am I going to do? Go to the ground with this guy in my khakis? And my, I was exactly. desperately trying to make it, and, and I was working yeah. eight, it was $8.50. Was your shirt yeah. tucked Was your shirt tucked in? Yeah, and my gut was hanging out. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. Too yeah. tiny because I got it off a knockoff, like a, a Nordstrom's yeah. rack or something like that. Yeah. And then the whole thing was it. embarrassing. And I'm so huge. And oh, then... yeah. I know that exact feeling. Yeah. It was like, yeah. I, you know how many times I remember getting, I wasn't, I've never been mugged right after work. But if the times I was mugged, the four times I was mugged. Four times, people. Well, mm -hmm. one time I was just randomly beat because it was knockout. I got knockout games. Ah. Uh. Um, and I got just full on punched in the you side of the head. Honestly, you should not count. If I'm playing the knockout game with someone and we drive by you, it's like, no, you can't do that. That's like, it's like I was going on the phone at a my Las ex. Vegas pond. It was four <laughs> o'clock in the morning. I was on the phone with my ex who was having a mental breakdown in what? Edinburgh. I had just got, come down from mushrooms. I was coming down the street and these three dudes came up and just popped me in the head. I fell through a fence. Fucking stabbed through my hand. I went to the police, and the first thing police would say, "What do you do with these kids if they're not fucking? They like to beat the shit out of people." And that was that was the whole thing. They did great. Well, I, I guess it could have been everything. worse for you then. Yeah, they yeah. could have they could have had sex with you. Yeah. <laughs> well, good for you. Yeah, it is fun. All right. Well, let's show some magic tricks gone wrong. The this one. Yeah, people uh, are saying, "Yeah, I got kissed. Yeah, I got mugged four times." It's called being castable. When you stand out in a crowd, people just eyes lock in, and then you become a victim sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Let's watch this uh, magic show fail. Now, I I don't know. Fool, should I just say the end, Travis, and we can debate it? All right. No, so I, I don't think, know. If this... I don't know. I think you're just. I like surprising people because who would have stuck around if we told them last week that I was going to show a guy vaping a bunch of cum? No That's one. True. No, yeah, one. you did that very early on. This has been really like embracing his brand right here. No, this is, I don't know if the person is dead. <laughs> A lot of people, are, we don't know if they're dead or not. The magician. Everyone has, in their lives, seen a magician's performance in which a life is at stake. I in really one, don't know. So the reality that one? was actually a well-prepared well, yeah. illusion for the audience. But in certain cases, the illusion became real. See, this is why. Oh, let's see. All right. See, I don't. Puffin doesn't know. I was talking to Puffin about this. Performance in he doesn't which an know. amateur magician cuts his assistant into three pieces with a chainsaw went well for a time. Everything worked as it should. Uh huh. It's horrible. So this is. Uh... The little slides in there. They're husband and wife, by the way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't know what they are. Okay, but we don't know what's happening. Right. So that so one went in. Yeah, it seems fine, right? Everything seems good. But now he's Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Here. He's pulling a little leather face. And again, I don't know. Travis says no. And this is from YouTube. 
Okay. You know how these work, right? All the good, all good. Yeah. Very easy. All good. Nope, no problems there. No problems there. From her body. Travis, I really hope you're right. Okay, tickles the toes, so he's kind of a little pedophile, but it's okay. Okay. Oh, I'm getting nervous again. I mean, you chose this. No, I know. When it Travis came to proved the separation it. of the head, the she's assistant's throwing head the blame on the, on the Travis. <laughs> and you she are Travis. Head into the okay, but now she's freaking out. And change it for the fake yeah. head. She tried to signal the problem, but her partner didn't notice because of the partner noise of the music and the chainsaw. It's fucking fake. You think this is fake? Yeah, this is the bit. This is the bit. Yeah, killer. What is this? The 37-year-old magician cut the throat of his assistant, his wife, and she was killed instantly at the age of 26. Uh, that's a, a fuck, that's a doll. That's a doll. This is a doll. I think this is fake. Oh, all right. Well, that is well, actually happy fake. it's fake. Okay. Well, there you go. I mean, it, it made me feel very, weird. That is a famous magician named Ricciardi Jr. Uh, yeah, he's not in jail. His whole right? thing is, well, he's dead. But the he whole, died. The whole thing is that. Yeah, it's supposed to make people think that it went wrong. Uh, <sighs> and, uh, <laughs> all right, well, good. I'm happy to be a sucker every now and again. A sucker is born every day. Suckers um, born every day, man. But you know what? God. You know what we do to those suckers? We raise them. Yeah, we do. We all right, well, raise that sucker up. Let's watch this other ma magic trick go awry. This one is yeah, a little bit saying, more. Dangerous. Everyone's saying, yeah, it's dumb, it's fake, but it's cool. But I like the idea of faking the things going extremely wrong. That's a great I bit. Do. I showed it to Jerry. I showed it to Puffin. We did not know. We did not know. And uh, so I'm happy it's fake. I'm yeah, what Jerry it. say? Oh, Jerry is crazy. You know what he can't eat? I've ordered Burger King breakfast. Dogs can't digest those eggs. Yeah, you know what? Can't... Wendy doesn't like eggs either. I, uh, but Georgie we... loves eggs. But loves. don't do if you do get those Burger King. You know what I'm talking about those those weird eggs. I was oh, picking up egg they're, vomit. They're, they're fake eggs. They're not eggs. Yeah, they're I they're like up. a chemical concoction. I can't tell you how much egg vomit there was. I yeah. gave. Yeah. I split it one. Might up have been the Burger King. It could have been the grease in there. Yeah, I think it was a combo because I split up one of the tops and one of the eggs and one of the. I split up a Burger King. Jesus, I split up a Burger King sausage egg and cheese. Okay, I know how this goes. And most of I my gave life it to is both me of them. Hurt, hurting and my hand, pulling apart it, bits of meat. For yes, Wendy. but I did not realize the eggs are not digestible by dogs, so there was a lot of vomit there. Anyway, let's watch this magic trick. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Where's that kid going? Oh. Uh-oh, here we go. This is going to be these ones. He's going to die. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. That's that fun. fun. That that's really fun. fun. That's fun. That's fun. I believe it. Yeah. I believe it. Yeah, that's really his head. good. He hit his head on the door. That's really good. He was supposed to go through it. Even though, even if that door was open, you would have seen him go through it. He wasn't yes. nearly fast enough. No, no you're supposed really to be was. in a The way that bit works is you're supposed to be in a door frame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you do it, you're a... supposed to fool dogs with it. I know. Yeah. And children. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. But I say the way I fool children is I tell them life is fair. <laughs> oh, whoa. Definitely not fair with the with that close-up of your face there. You got some you – got, what do you call those things? What? The little holes in our heads? Pores? Pores. Huh. All over your face. Your nose is full of them. It's yeah. Know, I mean, I got I got exfoliate. human skin. No, you need to expose. Marcus doesn't have it like that. No, I, I take I, better skin and probably, look at Mark probably better care of my skin. Marcus does not have nearly the amount of holes that you do in your face. Yeah, I got big uh, holes. I got big yeah. holes yeah. in my fucking Marcus nose. Marcus is shaming me. Uh, yeah, shaming fantastic me. skin. I have he wonderful has fantastic skin. skin. And Marcus the hasn't seen the sun in eighteen years. Go close to the camera. Let's see it. Uh, uh, oh no, this is what it feels like to be a Bud Light. No, I have a booger. All right. Oh my God! You want to know what it's like to be a Bud Light? How would that look? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh! <laughs> help me! Help! Help for me, Bud Light! Bud, Bud Light cam! Hey, it's big kids Bud Light, Bud Light cam! Bud Light cam. Oh, let me show you how I really do it. Okay, oh, that's a no. joke. Hello. Uh, All right. Well, let's show some fun th stuff. Um, 
let's show this guy. Let's show some public access. Did we show the Halloween special that Alex Jones did? Maybe. No, I feel like we should save it for Halloween. No, I think we like, have, but we, it's always worth watching again. We can watch. You know what? Well, let's we'll do that one. We'll do that later. Let's do the intro to Stairway to Stardom, and then we'll show some of the talent. Stairway uh, to Stardom Star- is fantastic. It's an incredible I show. I love Stairway to Stardom. Incredible show. Stay tuned because Stairway to Stardom is next with Frank oh my God. Massey. It is just like my fucking amps with my two amps. <laughs> It's a pretty long intro. On the stairway to stardom, you see tomorrow starts today. On the stairway to stardom, I need to start dressing like this. Do I need to go for Paula Tompkins? I think you should. This is just them all getting off a young girl. You'll notice, I mean, this launched the career of a series of different people. Look at this guy. Oh my god, oh, that guy. <laughs> oh yeah, Shecky the cross-eyed rabbi. <laughs> oh, I love her dance. She's very pretty, she very good. She is very pretty. Yes. All right, there you go. I don't know who right. was the scary way to start. Him. That's my only concern. But that's all right. Like auctioning off for children. I don't know what this is. Oh my Jesus. A big old dog. Yeah, there we go. God, honestly, I love every one of these stars. Ah, they're very good. All right, well, let's see a performance that you could expect to see if you watched Stairway to Start. And the All the King's Men backing band. They're pretty incredible. That's it? Oh, I thought no, we were, we're going to see an act. Oh, we are, are going to see an act. Oh, I wonder why Kissel chose this one. I miss when music was just all synth. I mean, I feel like more synths should go back. You know I agree. Tell me what you see. Well, now that I think about it, it's kind of uncomfortable to watch with everyone. Yeah, it is really weird to watch <laughs> a young girl just dance to fame. I can't tell if this is like 13 or 38. This is strange, yeah. How, I mean, what? How old is she? I can't. Tell. She might be forty. I just feel like I'm at like Jeffrey Epstein's house, forced to be in his office. <laughs> I want a beautiful life. I want to learn how to fly. That was the big moment there. That's your take your picture. Flying high. I think she's old, right? She's got to be like forty. She is yeah. either forty or she is twelve. I can't tell. Anyway, as you can see, this is kind of what you expect to see on Stairway to Stardom. Remember, remember, remember. She turned out to be Mary Hart from Entertainment Tonight. Huh. Really? Yes, absolutely. Yes, really, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> yes, hey. Yeah, a lot of people asking if that is Lord. Oh, could be. Lord, nope. absolutely. It is not Lord. Looks it's like a gr- Lord. Looks like a grown up Linda Blair. Yeah, I was gonna say, it looks like she, she does look like Linda Blair. The Exorcist. By the way, Exorcist How many times 3. Did you watch this? Oh, just once or twice. The uh, Exorcist 3. I'm gonna say this. Maybe this is out of line. I think it's the scariest Exorcist. Dude, we watched The Exorcist 3 night before last. It's great. It, did you watch it, it on suffers. Joe Bob's drive in? No, no, no. It's just, it's one of Carolina's uh, favorite movies. So we we watched it a couple nights ago. It's the fantastic. only thing about the re rewatching because I watched it on Joe Bob slash Drive In, the rewatch of Exorcist Three is that you could see that it was directed by a writer yes. who had no oh. clue how to edit fucking anything. Also but, written by a writer. I mean, you could tell it's a no, it's a very novel. Well, who do you want it to be written by, Marcus? Well, no, a novel. There's a, there's it's, written, a it's written by a novel. Yeah. There's a difference between showing. And tell him. This girl is showing, for example. <laughs> and she's also telling a story about fame. I, no. I just feel really good. Oh my weird. goodness, here, this is crucial. Self taught. You, you learn, these are all your own steps? Yeah, my mom taught me also. Your mother? Oh, she, your mother's a dancer? Yep. Well, oh. no, but like. Like, she tells me what to do, and I do. Oh, oh my God. I'm just having flashback to fucking Queens. <laughs> she just tells me what to do, and I do it. I, <laughs> it was horrifying. I, 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 I didn't get to that point. 
when yeah, I watched it alone. Because now we know she's definitely 13. Um, okay. Well, let's that's fine. Do... She wasn't doing anything sexual or anything. It was like, no, no. No. That was you just showing. Um, you just that's... like watching her dance. No, that was stairway to stardom. That's, I mean, if, if her mom had any eye for talent, she would have known that her daughter should not have been on that show. But <laughs> that's hey, what's that's Staten Island, baby. Self-taught. That Nyland, yeah, they say that there's nothing here but a dump, and you're right, there's also Danino's. Whoa! <laughs> Who knows Staten Island, man? Is there anybody in the chat who knows Staten Island? What's the last time anybody been to fucking Danino's, man? Whoa, I love me some Staten fucking... Island's great. There's the a Kissel, There's a Kissel Avenue in Staten Island. Oh, yeah. The yep. thing about... Who takes from? Staten Island has oh, got yeah. low-key the fucking best, the, some of the best pizza in the entire city. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Some um, of the best Italian food in general because the mafia all got ran down there because they're the ones running the dumps, right? And they're mm -hmm. the ones kind of – because a lot of times that's all the, the, the coastal construction projects. That's all mafia. Right, right. Yep, yep. They get things done. I mean, slowly. I mean, it's uh, not their first price. business. That's the only problem no. is when you have a mafia-run construction business, their first business is never construction. Their first no. business is always cocaine running mm -hmm. girls, running numbers, playing a horses, buying horses, selling horses, yep. giving horse, cutting ho heads off of horses, giving the people, going out of the, right. the calzone store, shaking them down for the fucking big. All of a sudden, I mean, that's a whole day already. And all of a sudden, I'm going to put up all this fucking, I'm going to put up a bridge? You yeah. do have to put up a bridge, a bridge between you and the community. And now they're just our governor here in New York State. Thank you, Mr. Cuomo. The number Remember? one gang in America. Whoa, what? All right. Well, speaking of that, let's talk about Alex Jones then. Let's show this clip. And I don't know if we've shown it. Marcus, you let me know. Because I think you have the most retention of memory when it comes to these videos. Everything sort of goes together. All I remember is that we showed a dog uh, a dog pussy in a dog butthole. That's the only was, video I'll ever remember. I was in a, it wasn't a video. That was just an image. It was an image. It was disgusting. Um, all right. Let's okay, show this Alex Jones special. This is when Alex was a little thinner. Just doing public access. What your actual employment was. I come on public access and hang out. I'm on 24 hours a day, they say. <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty close. Well, I can assure you, I don't make any money off public access. I can yeah. guarantee you that. Well, you guys have a good one. Hey, appreciate that call. I love the cut. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Yes, Alex. How you doing? Pretty good. I was just kind of curious. Uh, <laughs> this is the best uh, he ever wants. That, uh, I know. The police can uh, have uh, laser, laser uh, or infrared uh beams if you if you want to call it and they can project those into your house to basically yep. yeah the austin they police get... department uh last time i heard has 20 units <laughs> with infrared if you have enough of a heat source in your house it'll it'll pick up the heat source and show that's a true though it's called so you have weed. It's, it's 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 infrared or heat signature and and uh we didn't play all of the uh, of the cut from the leers uh from the uh, lear news hour but it says yes black helicopters um, are the black helicopter being used ship. for surveillance of the public by sheriff's That's true, though. Eye in the sky, man. Look that up. Look up eye in the sky. So that's real, and I'm going to play that tomorrow He looks night so good talking with a sharp knife. Uh, on past 10. I know. That's why we like talking with sharp knives. I think we, we kind of absorbed this. an uh, entertainment show. And I'm going to have a tax expert on. So you'll see the Lair News Hour, a short little cut for, <laughs> for news reasons. That'll show you. Lair News Hour. Yes, that is, I believe that is an Alice Cooper head. The military uh, has sold them to the police departments all over the country. They've got thousands of them. They've got thousands of tanks and armored personnel carriers now. God, I wish he and, didn't uh, go so stupid crazy. Say, I wish way, that he didn't go, that become been such a fucking piece of shit. For ten years telling shit. you about it, now they're admitting they have black helicopters. It's a fact. There it is. No, it's I'm a the, fact. I mean, I understand what he's talking about. Like when Alex Jones like really gets into it, like when he really, really just tells some truth. It really makes you feel good at the I end of the day. I love a knife. I but love a knife. The, Marcus, how sharp is that knife? It doesn't look like you could even – can you cut this with knife, that? No, this knife isn't very sharp. This is actually made out of a uh, railroad tie. A listener made it for us, but I keep oh. it right here because I like having it around. It's so like were, a butter knife. If you were unforged in fire, they would say that knife cannot kill. No, this knife cannot kill. I need to, I need to sharpen it myself, though. Yep. It's a fun knife, though. Yeah, I bet I could probably go for it to not be sharp necessarily. You can get the no. other one sharp. Well, the house is already full of plenty of sharp knives. What's one more? Absolutely. Uh, knives are very good for security. And, and if you want to cut some salami or anything like that. I'm, yeah. Honestly, I'm kind of excited to get something like I just want to get. Can I just have one grenade launcher? You my could. own sort of tear gas canister. Can I get that? I think if so. you moved to Montana. I can't get that here. 
LA Probably is actually not. a big uh, gun town. You yeah, doesn't LA have a bunch of guns? No, a lot of gun town, but I don't know about like military hardware. I don't know how legal that is. Marcus, did you look up how Boston Analytics? You can now, or Boston was it Dynamics? Boston Dynamics. Dynamics. The ro- 70, ro- you can now private access to a robot dog, 74K. Fucking, let's do it. No, we'll we're not. Save our money it. and buy one. <laughs> What is going on? Boston Dynamics needs to burn down like in Terminator 2. That's the, we're we're living in the beginning of T2. Not if I have one. Mm. If you, you know what I mean, then I am dogs. protected. My home is protected. El Paso is protected. Until that dog kills Wendy. No, they'll befriend each other. It is a I felony don't. to own a grenade launcher in California. Oh. Yeah, but until oh, you no. get the grenade launcher, then you tell them what's a felony. I Are you going to tell me it's a felony? I mean, that would be cool as fucking hell to have a goddamn grenade launcher. Just for the I'm habit, just to have it around. I'm with you, buddy. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, here we go. Let's watch this guy. Uh, this guy is nervous. He's at uh, public access, a little more public access here. Kind of fun. Uh, do we have a music video to go out on? Or we have a music video to go out on. Boy, your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. Are I, no, I know this. This is Pat. This, I, this, this is, is one very of my, famous. This, this is, is one I, of my I don't favorites. Care. This is one of my favorite videos of all time. This has been a nice uh, time for me. This year, I have made 55 years teaching in this town. And for the students on this show tonight, go to the first United Methodist Church. That includes me. I this is, this is just church. the simply best, this is the best Joe YouTube Jones video of all time. Last time, and yes. He's not here tonight. So John Baker's here, Bob Spencer, Michelle Casey, and I all go to First United Methodist Church. So John is going to sing a song that's very popular now. I will go to your crack. I, sh- is I can't have one. I shouldn't be able to have one Amora stinger missile two, okay? and one aircraft weapon. I think I should, honestly. I do. To f- go against the fucking. My bro. name is John Dacre. Yeah, John Dacre. <laughs> the Lord is risen today. Hallelujah. So men and angels say, Hallelujah. My favorite. It's Bells will ring, tingling, tingling, and the bell ring, more. Cards. You gotta get the song down. You're in love. love. Look at this guy. Me, but you see, back in old Napoli, that's a Mori. God, he looks like a thinner oh. Ben Fire. I'm just waiting for him to blow his brains out. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we're getting to the end of the episode, and we got a music video to go out on. Well, I got to say, we've covered a lot of ground today, Kissel. Yes, we did, guys. Thank you so much. Love you all. Hail yourselves, everyone. Be safe out there. Be safe out there. This song is called When You Run Out of Ganja. You never know if the streets are not shame. This is fucking awful. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when you run out There are still people in jail for cannabis crimes, and they need to be relieved. There you go. I like Woke Edwin. Pretty good. Have a good time. Oh. Messed up as we It's hard to hear because your brain can't get As we walk down the ganja field, we see some dry banana. Hey, Mon. Hey, Mon. Hi, how you guys? How you doing? We're the trainables. One of you masturbate on this stage, you're out of here. What you what you gonna do when they run out of ganja? <laughs> I love the bass player. What We're only gonna do when 
you run out of ganja. Run out of ganja. It's good. What you gonna do when you run out of ganja? Ganja, ganja. What you gonna do? Oh. They went on to become Creed. <laughs> <laughs>